Hey y'all, this is Joe and Gail out here at the cabin out at St. Bernard Acres. Uh, this is Sunday, November 18th. Hi Gail. November. November? You said November. Well, it feels like it. Gosh, this winter, it seems so long. It's been mild, but it seems long. Uh, it's March 18th. Uh, we're out here. We got gifted something for the cabin. We're getting ready to unload, which is real nice. Uh, got 11 bundles of insulation. So, look at all that insulation. And the gas can. All this tube of silicone sealant. All these tubes. I don't know how many tubes are in there. And the shelves. <laughs> but yeah, 11 rolls. So, we'd be insulating now. At least we can do that. We're getting ready to unload it all and put it in the cabin. But it's a beautiful day out here for March. In the mid-50s. Blue skies. It's gorgeous. So, we're going to unload this and now I'll take you a walk around. All right, so we got that done. Gail's going on garbage patrol because Thanks we've to got our friendly neighborhood raccoons. Yep, our raccoons have been busy, and we got to take all that into town and throw it away. Uh, so she's going to rebag everything that needs bagged. This is our view from our deck, our porch. And if we go inside now, you can see, once the light adjusts, <laughs> there's all of our sealant, all of our caulking, and all the insulation that we need. We can insulate this whole cabin, uh, except for the roof. We'll have to get 24-inch uh, rolls for that. But that's 11 16 inch rolls. So we're good to go with that. And that'll be our next project then. Well, we'll come out here and insulate. Uh, it's like, what time is it, Gail? Oh, it's like 4 o'clock. It's like 4 o'clock already. And we, I, we came out here to do something else. And then. You know, Bobby came up and said, hey, if you got four-wheel drive, <laughs> we'll go over and get all that insulation. And uh, I was like, okay, we sure will. And uh, so we drove over to there, to that cabin, and pulled all this out and brought it back over here and unloaded it. But, you know, visiting with him, we haven't seen him for quite a while because he's like us. He lives you know, an hour and a half away. So it's rare we get to be out here at the same time. Which works two ways. There, 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 it's more often that somebody is here because I watch his place, he watches my place. And it's like he was telling me he had some people drive up over to his property over there said that they used to rent it. And uh, they were just coming by to just to chill out. And he said, well, I own it. And the dude was like, well, how much? And Bobby's like, I own all of this. 
So, you know, we tell people that, and they think, you know, one person owns all of it, and we're out here all the time. And that helps keep people away, because word gets out that, you know, somebody owns all this. And uh, so that's a, good, that's a good way to approach it. But, yeah, we'll be, uh, next weekend, it's probably going to be raining, so we can work inside. I can finish framing up the, the bathroom uh, wall and start putting in insulation and get her buttoned up. I love this. Let's take a walk. This we got to try to latch on to and take down and empty. Uh, most of it, you know, it's going to go in the barn. I mean, it's scrap, but it's all usable stuff. Uh, so we'll take that down to the barn. And I think I got some more of those big giant skids available to me. And I'm going to take the trailer in and get them. But Thursday, guess who woke up with a horrible sore throat and cough? And now, what? I stuck a nail. Oh, how deep? Oh, that's in my shoe. Yeah. Did it poke into you? Well, I don't know. I felt it, so I'm guessing it did. Well, you just had a tetanus shot. Oh, okay. So that's good. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. I just had cut the shot and lie. Yeah. And that's all they do. Yeah. I have band aids in my bag. It's not bleeding yet. Oh, all right. But a piece of the siding was face up. Ah. And it had a nail in it. Yep. Thank God for. Thank God to pick up the accidental app last I know. Well, I knew we'd be out here working. But yeah, I've had a real bad in my chest, the cold, uh, coughing, that, you know, you cough so much that all your ribs start hurting, all your chest muscles start hurting, and it hurts to cough. Uh, so I've gotten pretty good past that and now it's more in my nose that I got to start dealing with but we uh, wanted to start pulling out down here start pulling out some of this stuff I didn't know <laughs> that metal was in there. I think that used to be the old barn door, that the slider that went across there. I don't know why they tore it off. But that's a mess we got to get cleaned out so I can brush hog all around through there before, you know, spring takes over and it starts uh, really building up. And once it grows, I mean, there's no stopping it then. All the thorns. But yeah, we had some more pallets. Uh, that's all for my trapper cabin. I'm going to build out a pallet wood. All those two befores. All these two before. These are nine feet long. Uh, I've got several more of those skids I have to bring out and take apart. And all that good stuff there for the siding uh, but that's for another video at another time and all the plywood and OSB stacked up against that skid back there that I could use on the 
pallet wood trapper cabin if I want to. But yeah, everything in here looks secure still. Wow. Another day, one of the things I wanted to do was try to clean up in here and organize a bit, but no such luck. The bad thing when Bobby comes over, and like I said, we rarely get to hook up anymore. <laughs> we sit around bullshit for an hour and then drove up to that other cabin. <coughs> uh, to get all that extra insulation. So that killed two or three hours of our day. Just hanging out with him. But everything is good. I can't believe how nice it is. I'm just walking around, you know, a t-shirt basically in an open long sleeve shirt. What a difference a week makes. But Nick's mess is still down there. And I'm going next week. I had all those uh, T posts that I let a friend of ours borrow for his garden last year. So he's got all those in his barn. I'm going to go get all those so I can fence off my area back here and start getting ready for a garden. Uh, Try one out and see what happens. But that was our quick little update. Everything's good. Got insulation now. Got caulking. Uh, we're on our way. <laughs> and the weather's turning nicer, so we're going to be able to get back to work on that cabin. And I'm going to get to work on my pallet wood cabin. Uh, and the garden. A lot of projects going on. And it just stay busy. That's what I like to do. But well, this is Joe out here behind the barn at St. Bernard Acres. I'm out.